something new here in the shop in Northreach? We could take a look. We had another side quest somewhere, right? I wonder if I can see it if I open the world map. I'll have to check. Do you see anything you like? I don't believe so. What's new? Raging Fists. I haven't tried Raging Fists yet. Have I? I don't think so. Yeah. Come back again. Can we buy it? We probably have enough points. We do. I just don't have enough slots. That's all. <laughs> I guess I could take out something like Wind Up. I like it. Raging Fists. Okay. Yeah. This works. This works. We'll try things out. Step forward and deliver a blinding flurry of high-speed punches. Blocking an enemy attack with a step forward increases the potency of the following punches. Wait, 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 what? Say that again? Blocking with a step forward. So let's see. Keep them pooches nice and chilled. I won't have you. Look at this. I can't take out the icon right now. How about here? Here we go. The step forward. So the first step, that first step there is a block. If we can use that while we're being attacked. A lot of these abilities have these little things going on. You can just use it as a regular ability, but they have additional things to them that make them a bit different. Like how Heat Wave has a counter and all that. Okay, cool, interesting. But we are done here. There was something in Dalamil Inn, that's right. Who's looking for me? I take it Drake's Fang was your doing, Sid. Hmm, you really are quite the outlaw. It's only a matter of time before the people learn of this and seek to apportion blame. Lie low is my advice. I would be surprised if not every single person here knew about Drake's Fang falling already. Now a hero returns. Hey, you hear about Drake's Fang? That was your doing, was it not? Rumors of the Fang's destruction have already reached the long ears of the Desert Hare, and they will soon be on the lips of every man, woman, and child in Dalamil. Though I doubt they will receive the news quite so cheerfully as I did. This town owed much of its prosperity and protection to the Fang, and many will feel that now it has left us, so too must they. As for me... I know what it is to live without crystals, without wealth. It was not an easy life, but I survived it. And Dalamil has plenty blessings even without the Mother Crystal. Its healing waters, its proud people. What need have we for magic? It is but a convenience, a crutch. If the people need a new crutch to lean on, perhaps they ought to look to one another. You're asking for way too much from people here. Stay safe Master out there. says Drake's fang has fallen. Does that mean the furnace is going to stop working? Maybe. So shut your trap and get that order forged while you still can. You're right that magic is but a convenience, especially the way they use it here. Cooling fish or, you know, heating up furnaces. But it's still a convenience that people, once they've had a taste of it, they're not going to want to live without it. The finest fabrics, fresh from the capital. The most fragrant the People might leave the inn now, huh? Man the Master Baker. Gone, just like that. And without so much as a buy your leave. What's the matter? Uh, oh, it, it's my apprentice. He up and vanished while my back was turned. I'd go and look for him myself, but I've got a bakery to run. A bakery that's now short, one pair of hands. Loath though I am to rely on the kindness of strangers, I'm at a loss. Please, will you see if you can find him? I never even offered, but all right. I'll see what I can do. Do you know where he might have gone? Ah, uh, I wouldn't be surprised if he was off somewhere mooning at Drake's Fang. He used to work there, you see. Poor fool left his heart in its hole. Drake's Fang? All right. Then that's where I'll start. You want me to go back to Drake's Fang? Well, it could be interesting. We can check out what it looks like now. How can people not know it's gone, though? The entire thing vanished overnight, didn't it? <laughs> I can't 
can't say I understand that boy's obsession with the fang. I can't say I understand much about him at all. You really want me to go back straight to Drake's fang? Okay. I don't even remember activating that particular obelisk before. Well, we'll see. Where is Drake's Fang in relation to what we're looking at right now? Uh... You wanna attack me? Oh! Oh, it's a bounty! The Nine of Knives, okay! A person! My blade yet hungers, but so do I. Come, Oh, wow! So feast on your flesh. I was waiting for him to come over so I can block him and your stuff. Feasting days are over. You're a fine heart toggle. Oh, I don't think I can do this. This is really... Whoa! I'm not ready for this. I did not come here ready. Okay, I don't think I'm even the right level for it because that was... The ranking. The ranking was A. Could I have done that? It didn't feel like it at this level. Maybe I have to be higher level? Yo, that guy is just... I'm not here for this, okay? I'm just here for the baker. That's all. Maybe I'll try you later. I, I didn't feel like that was... He, he was hitting me harder than Hugo was. <laughs> Maybe we're a little bit underleveled or something. I'm not sure. I'll keep you in mind. Oh, hey. What are you doing, man? Oh, there's Drake's Fang. It's still sort of here. Excuse me. What do you want? The baker sent me to find you. I am a sorry, selfish sod, aren't I? I'm certainly not a baker. Master must rue the day he took me in. Time was the sight of the fang used to calm my nerves. But now look at her. I take it you missed the Mother Crystal. I hated her, but she was all I knew. Worked her minds for years. And when she shattered, part of me shattered with her. I had to trade my pickaxe for a rolling pin, but I'm no good at baking. Every loaf I touch collapses. My bread's as hollow as I am. She was the only thing that could fill the hole inside me. Oh, I loved her, damn it. But now she's gone. She's never coming back. What am I supposed to do? I ask her. How does a shell of a man learn to live again? Uh... Cherish the memories. Try to remember the good times. Do that, and the Mother Crystal will be with you no matter where you are. <laughs> Even in the bakery? What a fool I've been! Thank you, my friend, thank you! You've opened my eyes! I have to get back there right away. Farewell! Wait. That was simple. Suppose he won't be needing an escort then. No, he just came here to uh, you know, speak about his mother crystal for a little bit, that's all. I don't think we've been around here before, right? Not this far out anyway. The Nine of Knives, yes. Yeah, the Sickle, the Fields of Korava, Titans... Wait, wait, have we just never gone to those places? Is there a point in going there, though? It does seem like there's a lot here, but I'm kind of suspicious. I'll leave it be for now. We'll just go back to the inn. Yeah, actually, looking at that map, it did seem like there were a lot more areas than what we explored. Maybe that's where all the bounties are. Take a sniff, good sir. You'll be transported. Ah, there you are. 
The man who lit a fire under my wayward apprentice. <laughs> Though I worry you might have stoked the flames a little too high. He damn near ran me down trying to get to my oven. Master, it's ready. Behold the Drake's Bar. A truly unique creation. I dare say it is. <laughs> Just look at it. A perfect likeness of the Fang herself. <laughs> her steeple peaks, her fulsom spurs, her inviting hollow. What? True, <laughs> my loaves collapse more often than not, but what's the Fang without her crater? Why, no Fang at all. And look, inside. She's filled to bursting with a bounty of beautiful crystals. Salt crystals! Master, I have found my purpose. I must use my work here to preserve the memory of the Fang. Uh, well, if it tastes off as unique as it looks, I'd certainly say you're on to something. <laughs> Uh, not only is my apprentice back, but he's finally pulling his weight. With any luck, I might even have a new delicacy on my hands. I don't know how you did it, but you have my thanks. The way this guy feels towards the Mother Crystal, though... I wonder if other people also feel like him, or is he just sort of an outlier? Because the Mother Crystal is from a utility perspective. It's really now, important. Dusan, I know you're keen, but do you have to use the good salt? Leave some for the rest of us. Sorry, Master. I'll go and get some more later. Yeah, it's from a utility perspective, people love the Mother Crystal because it provides crystals, yes, quite which after. provides magic. But that guy was like religiously worshipping the crystal, basically. And hey, look, the inn is open. We can go back in. Saint Drake's Fang is gone. The whole Mother Crystal gone. What are we gonna do? Calm yourself. We don't know for sure. It could have just been a tremor. It doesn't look that dead from the outside. Back again, are you? Any more trouble and you'll be barred for life, however deep your friend's pockets might be. Hello. You've got some shows going on here. Yeah. You. Listen. I've got this theory. The Fallen. I don't think they all fell. Some of them are still living among us. You could be one of them. I could be one of them. I don't think you're wrong at all. And my primary candidate would be stuff like, you know, Ultima, blah, blah, blah. People who know about Ultima. Barnabas and the Waluder people. Even Sid knew. Again, again, Sid. Why did you not tell me what you meant before you died? Alright. Okay, you know what? You know what? I do feel... Mm, I'm gonna try to... Let's say, let's go down one branch and see if there is anything. I know every single time we tried looking at the extra places, it never seems to give us anything. So I, I kind of don't feel like doing this, but I'll do one anyway just to see. Because sometimes, hey, maybe, maybe I'm wrong. I want to be proven wrong, you know? I want to find that there's actually side stuff if we take our time to look around. But there's a part of me that's also like, well, I mean, if you're not going to give me anything, why the hell am I doing any of this? <laughs> just to look at the place? It's pretty! But this is a, it's a desert. It's an arid desert. We don't need to five miles of it. I went the wrong way. I can walk from here. It should be over here. This way? It's pretty big. This place is damn big. Maybe we can find an obelisk or something. Ready, go? Yeah! Okay, so we're here. We can go up or down. Uh, just keep going straight towards something. It's hot. I thought that tree was some sort of a monster for a second. Ignore the chocobos, ignore the nice ch Oh, okay. Well, that ain't gonna do. 
Can I go up? Come on, Ambrosia! Don't be picky. Hello, goodbye. I'm still headed in the right direction. It's not exactly a desert, huh? There's that nice river next to it. Actually, nobody ever said a desert can't have a river next to it, right? Yeah, I, I guess that counts. Okay, we're, we're closing in. Hello? Be safe. There was a time this path was guarded day and night by Lord Kupka's men. But now they've gone. Back to the Fang. Leaving us lesser mortals at the mercy of whatever bloodthirsty beasts they say nested beyond. Oh, I don't have a good feeling about this. This is probably bounty stuff. They don't have room in the current existing map, so they just... Put the bounties here, maybe? Draco's Deep. Is there two... Oh, wow, it's actually... Wow, that's a lot of space, though. That is a lot of space. Okay, I don't I don't care for those scorpions. We'll just go. Ambrosia! Good on the grass? Good on the sand? That's fallen! That's fallen stuff. Hi? You gonna wake up? No, 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 no! Oh, defense note. We should get it first anyway. Okay, that sort of works. Ow! I would have been perfect candidate for heat waving. So what we're doing is we're approaching some fallen runes. Oh, I messed up, didn't I? We fought this guy, this specific guy before, at Phoenix Gate. Oh, I thought we had... I can't tell if the cooldown is done. Oh. Oh! Oh! I don't have to wind up anymore. That's right, the Raging Fists, there's no wind up. It just does it. I'm not feeling very on point with my combat today. I'm trying to incorporate Torgal a little bit more too. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. So we got that precision sick. Did you see that? I think at the end of our melee combo, we can add in Torgal. Is how that would usually go. But was there a point in doing that though? I mean, yeah, there's some fallen ruins here. Maybe we'll come here later on for some other quest, and I'm just jumping the gun by... Well, being here a little bit too early. Like the wind. Oh! Ignore him. Ignore him. Let's just... Go down a path and see what's there. I want to see something... Other than random scorpions coming out of the sand, okay? Even a fallen guardian's not enough to satisfy me. Nor goblins. No. Yeah, we'll just go to the end. If we can find an obelisk, I think that'll make it all worth it. If you want to give me an obelisk. Shri Whoa, that's a... That's a curl. Bye, 
next one. Bye, 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 bye. It's a wild curl. Oh! That'll do, girl. What the hell? <gasps> There's an abandoned village here. Abandoned fishing village. Okay. This must have been a fishing village before everyone left. Are we actually finding something here? Maybe this is part of a later quest. I'm not even sure. Oh, I kind of enjoyed the wind-up to link with Ignition. I kind of miss it. One, two, three, four, five. There you go. Just an abandoned village? Oh. And why did everyone leave? Nothing around at all. Okay, well, something around, but not what I'm looking for. No, 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 no! Yeah, maybe we're supposed to come here for some other quest later on. It's pretty big. It's abandoned, but the area is quite big. Oh, that looked a little bit fancy, but not really. Hmm, I guess we can go to the end of this and see if it goes anywhere interesting. Clive even had dialogue coming into this village, though. That makes me feel like it should be for something, right? If we have to come back here again later and there's no obelisk around, I'm gonna be mad. <laughs> okay, I mean, there's really not too much around here, I guess. Ten gil! Wow, you're so generous. How could you be so generous? So at the moment, even though I don't like the wind-up thing, or the, the, you know, the, um, the timing on that, I was so used to it that right now I'm like, whoa, I don't really like Raging Fists, even though that's normally what I've been doing before I had wind-up. No, 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 don't eat my leg. Don't eat my leg. I'm just, just passing through. Yeah, it's not a desert. There's fishing villages here. Still chasing me? Where does this go? What the hell? Surdra's thread. Oh, uh, the, the other one is like on top. Maybe it's not. Maybe this. No, it doesn't wrap back around. I wonder how you're supposed to go there. We do have a big field at the end of this, and I'm guessing there's gonna be some kind of a boss, which. Well, we can try. Maybe I should just grab Ambrosia. We're almost there. <laughs> the sword we have right now is too thin. For the sheath we have. Okay, there is something. The salamander dragon thing? Okay, we'll, we'll give it a go. Not feeling very confident, though. Especially after that Nine of Knives guy. Helgaru. Wait, are you even like a bounty? Doesn't seem like... Oh, you're just like a wyvern thing. Yeah, this guy's moves are pretty similar. Oh! I think I got the parry in with a titanic block. I don't even know what happened. Oh my god. Oh, 
Beautiful. Sorry, I sort of just like rammed right at you. No, don't! Clive! Wrong target! Wrong target! Please target this guy. And well, that didn't quite. Okay. Cool. I thought it might have been a bounty, but it's it's just a random piece of land. Maybe there's gonna be a bounty here later on. But yeah, the moves on that thing was it's pretty similar to the other dragon that we saw before. The Velfagor, was it? The green one? Okay, I think I'm done with my exploration for the day then. Yeah, the village was kind of interesting, although there wasn't actually anything there. Just curious why they bothered making it. Maybe we'll come back again, maybe we won't. Was that it? My duties are done? Let's go back. Mid? I'm telling you, it's true. I heard it from Otto's own. What you got for me, Mid? Actually, what does she have for me? Been doing side quests for so long, I don't remember what this is about anymore. Clive returns to the hideaway and sets about spreading the glad tidings that Hugo Kupka, the man who crushed their former home and saw many of their friends slaughtered, is no more. Those who lost their lives that fateful night are avenged, and those lucky enough to survive can now live without fear that he might one day return. Mid wasn't directly affected by it, but I think she'll be glad to hear that. He's gone too. Especially since Hugo was hunting her dad the whole time. Any amazing inventions? Mid? Mid and Sid. If I don't come up with something soon. Alright, Clive? What do you want? I'm going to visit Sid, and I thought you might like to come with me. Sorry, I'm too busy for all that right now. I've got to get this thermal displacement stack sorted. Thermal... <laughs> displacement stack. Here. And uh, this is for... Only the fastest, finest ship the world has ever seen. The Enterprise. Me and my dad designed it together. Where other vessels rely on the fickle winds to drive them through the water, ours is fitted with mithril engines. And those things have got more push than a behemoth in a bad mood, and more heat than all the hells put together. Which is where the stack comes in. I may have already talked some tight-lipped shipwrights into putting the hull together for me in a little dockyard in Canva. But the stack's a bit more involved, so I'm building it here. Thing is, it's so involved that I'm running behind and it's starting to hold things up over at the shipyard. I'll come and see my dad, though, when I'm done. Whenever that is. <sighs> is there anything I can do to help? Good old Clive. I was hoping you'd say that. First things first, I need some parts making. The sack will be made up of three major components. There's the plate in, here, that channels hot vapours away from the engine. The helm over the top, that disperses all that heat into the air. And the shielding around the sides, that stops the rest of the ship from going up in flames. A full suit of armour then. Probably best to take it one piece at a time. Then you'll need to start with the plating. Everything else fits onto it. I've got the designs and the list of materials here. Show these to Blackthorn. He'll know what to do. Okay, you're the boss lady. I can't make it not tell of them. Luckily, you don't need to. Is it just me, or was something wrong with the audio on Clive's dialogue in this conversation? It was kind of distracting. Like, it, it felt like it was AM radio quality. 
The engine plate is basically just a very efficient conductor. Create a thermal gradient across it and the heat radiates outwards, which... You know what? Just show the plans to Blackthorn. He'll know what to do. Okay, good. I, I don't know what your... What thermal, whatever the thing about Bob you were saying, but... If he does, then we have it all worked out. Which way's faster? This way. Blackthorn, can I ask a favor? Out with it. It's for mid. This is my last chance to say I'm otherwise engaged. I'd spare myself for your sake. Go on then. What is it this time? She said you would know. Here. Instructions on how to go about building oneself a full set of thermal plating to dissipate heat around a mithril engine. Should one find oneself in need of such a thing? <laughs> Should one find oneself? It's so formal. Gregor's Tate. Well, I don't know what the hell you'd want this for, but I can make it. Won't be easy though, and I'll need help. Get Gavin Otto in here, will you? All right. So Mid's roped us all in here again, has she? Typical. Still, if that's what it takes to get her to visit Sid's grave, I'll do what I can. And, uh, what is it we need to do, exactly? Take a look at this. It's this plating. The usual saw grade steel won't work. We need something that can get very hot, very fast, and still keep its shape. That means an alloy. Something that won't break or buckle at the temperature she's talking about. Which is where you lot come in. I need materials, and I've got my work cut out already. You'll have to fetch them. Now, there's a special kind of sand I'm after that you can only find out in the Valkroy. Stardust, they call it. As for the Excuse rest of the me? stuff, my usual supply should have it in stock. It just needs buying and bringing back here. Well, we'll get it done quicker if we split up. One of us should probably give you an hand coat in the sand. And the other can go and get the rest from this supplier. Right then. Well, make your minds up who's going where, and we can get this over with. Are we seriously going back to the Velcroy after I just came back from it? <laughs> um. Up to you who you take to the desert. I mean, Gav's good in a fight, but you don't have my winning personality. No, I. Ah, don't listen to him. You'll be in the lowest of low company with either of us. You going after the Stardust then, are you? Which one of these two lucky souls is going with you? Uh, Gav, I would say? Is it just- does it just change dialogue, maybe? I- I feel like I know Gav a little bit more than Otto. Otto is just the... the quest giver guy to me, really. Gav has a bit more personality. Gav, you're with me. All right, then. And he's a pirate. So, uh, where do we find this stardust stuff? There's a river that runs through the southern reaches of the Velcroy. It's the black sand that washes up on its banks that you're after. Southern reaches of the Velcroy, eh? That's down past Dallamil. I'll go and scout the place out. See about hiring us a wagon to bring the stuff back to. All right. I'll meet you by the river. While you're off having a paddle, I'll pick up the rest of the stuff from Blackthorn's supplier. Take care. You too, eh? Don't go letting him fleece ya. Fleece me? I'd like to see him dry. <laughs> In your own time. Hmm. Interesting. We get to go with one of these guys. I'll get us a good price. Is that one you want to worry about? It sounds like this river we're looking for is south of the Dalamil Inn. I'll hire us a wagon and meet you there. Some place that we were just talking about but haven't been to yet. Probably. I heard what you told Nan about Kupka. Hopefully all our old friends can rest easy now. Yeah, I hope so too. And what can I do for you? You? Go on then. Can probably sell me a few potions here and there. Just one, really. You'll not find a better price than that. 
Well, I suppose we could get going, like, right away. Dalamil in? You should have told me we were coming here. I didn't have to go here specifically for the quest. And then... We want to go... Oh. Oh. It's really close. I thought it was gonna be one of the further out spots. But that's extremely close. It's within walking distance. Looks like I found the river. No way is Gav. A little bit further along. Probably with that chocobo. Hey, man. Sorry to keep you, Gav. Better late than never. I've had a quick scout about, and I reckon round here's our best bet if we want to grab as much of this stardust stuff as we can. Don't know what Blackthorn's planning to do with it, though. I asked over in Dalamil, and they seemed to think it was worthless. But if stardust is what Blackthorn wants, stardust is what he'll get. There's plenty of this stuff lying about just begging to be bagged. Is that okay? Then let's get bagging, shall we? We shall. Race ya. Is it okay that we just take Dalmechia stuff like that? Make for the river over there? Maybe we could have walked over there. Just, you know, by walking. But I'm lazy. I'm lazy. Okay, now we have to get off. Straight home now. Stardust. Come on, you know I want to... <laughs> Every time it jumps right in front so of the interaction, I'm like... <laughs> it just looks like black sand to me. Well, that's because you're not a blacksmith who knows his stuff. More stardust. Somewhere around here. Hey, come on! <laughs> Look, look, look. When I press it, it's not even... Oh, come on. Here we go. More around here? It's not even fully near the water. Hmm. The area is kind of big. But I don't think it'll be up here. This is probably a little bit too far from the water. But where's the last two? I'm not seeing any more near- Ah! That's four. But not five. In the water? Here we go. That should be enough for now. Let's see how Gav's getting on. Did he get more than me? I was kind of slow. Oh, he's got a whole bag! Damn. You finished? How much did you get? Enough. I hope. Legend has it that a star once fell from the heavens and punctured a hole in the Delmechian desert, whence sprang forth the fountainhead of the river Velcroy. Oh, you win. Really? That might even be enough for all Blackthorn. Hey, uh, before we go, do you mind if we have a chat? No? What's up?
Feels like ages since we had the chance to talk. You know, man to man like. It does, doesn't it? Back when you first took Sid's name, we were talking all the time. Working out what to do in that. <laughs> there was a lot to work out. And there still is. Those shoulders of yours starting to feel the strain? Hardly ever see around the hideaway nowadays. Always on some errand or other. You can take a day off, you know. Well, says the man who spends most of his time behind enemy lines. Only because you keep sending me there. I know I can count on you, Gav. Likewise. So you keep sending me wherever you need to, and I'll keep going. Safe in the knowledge that I have a home to come back to. Thanks to you. Nice little chat. Although it felt a little bit homoerotic, if I'm being honest. <laughs> That's enough soppy shite for one day. We'd better get this lot back to Blackthorn before he slings his hammer at someone. You go on ahead. And try to get some rest once you're there. Oh, I plan to. Believe you me. After Blackthorn gets what he needs, of course. So if we brought Otto here instead, then he would have a different version of that talk? Hmm. Right. Ready to go home, boy? <laughs> we just told Gaff to go on ahead, and now we're gonna go home too. Is that really okay? Yes, it is. Let's go. Back home. Let's hope this is all Blackthorn needs. That was a lot. We got two big bags. And then Otto, hopefully, is back here as well. Yeah, he is. All right, Clive. I gave all that stardust to Blackthorn, just like I promised. I got everything Blackthorn asked for. Had to go over in Dallymill. Uneventful. Blackthorn, got everything you need. Yeah. Yeah, I do. Cheers for the stardust. Should be enough to be getting on with. We should go out on maneuvers together more often. Your know, beats sneaking around on your tod all the time. I'll make a start on putting this thermal plating together then. It will take some time, mind. So if you've got other things to be getting on with, I could do without you breathing down my neck. Thank you, Blackthorn. I'll let Mid know construction's underway. All right, that was a fetch quest for a main quest. Suppose we'd better be getting back to work too. Give us a shout if you need anything. Thanks guys, I'm good. And we go back to mid. You got your thermal plating organized. What else do you need? It's still part of Out of the Shadow. Right earlier it started like a sub-main quest, letting off steam. I bet she'll have more. Editors started Her reading books building this ship right now. For what? Oh, if I don't come up with something soon... You'll be pleased to hear that Blackthorn started work on the plating. Excellent! One down, two to go. So, what's next? The helm, of course. For this, we'll be repurposing fallen scrap. Salvage from the ruins? I thought that material was all but impossible to work. Ah, but we don't have to. I'm sorry? Just so happens, there's one particular ruin that's broken into exactly the right shape and size pieces for what we need. <laughs> What's the name back there? I'll give you all details. 
What's her name? Right. Learn people's names. That's rude, mid. Talk to her back there. You know, thingy. She'll tell you exactly which bits of which ruin we need. You just need to go and find him. Helena? Oh, Sid, is this about the helm? Uh, yes. Mid said I should speak with you. I'll show you the plans then. Here you see the Mithril engine in which Mithril is burned to generate heat. That heat is then harnessed to produce motive force. Excess heat is dealt with by means of the thermal displacement stack, which disperses it into the surrounding air. All right, what do you need? Now, were we to rely on thermal plating alone to achieve this effect, the rate of excess heat buildup would far exceed the displacement coefficient of the plating. In other words, the reactor would overheat and eventually explode. This is where the helm comes in. It connects to the plating, you see, and serves as a sort of thermal sink to absorb all that excess energy. Our experiments have shown that fallen ceramics are remarkably thermophilic. They can withstand and absorb levels of heat far above anything we are able to make today. And not only that, they're also waterproof and immune to rust, making them the perfect material for our protective hood. Why? If sea or rainwater were to enter the reactor proper, it would vaporize instantly. The forces produced would tear the ship from stern to... You can stop there. I understand. <laughs> Mid said we might be able to use parts of a fallen ruin. Where would I find it? Ah, yes. It's in Lorbert's Pass near Lostwing. Excuse me? The thing is, well, I probably should have arranged to have the pieces we need brought here sooner. You see, a certain unwanted visitor has taken up residence there. It's no longer a matter of just walking in and taking them. It's, um going to be considerably more dangerous than that. I see. Then I suppose I'd better deal with this unwanted visitor for you. Would that help? Oh, very much. Thank you, Sid. I'll gather my team and head there right away. We'll meet you outside the ruins. I see it was a mistake to try to go do the side quests first because we're going to the same places that we just went to. Lovers pass yet again. Okay. I'll be taking you all to a storehouse in the bales. Leave anything you don't need behind. Oh. Are they doing their little revenge already? That's. That's a completely different quest, right? Yeah, that's... okay. I guess we're just gonna have to see how that plays out. I don't know if we'll get to participate, nor do we even want to participate? Hmm. If you're ready, we leave at once. Quentin did sound like he cared about the bearer's cause though, which was a little bit surprising given his previous stance and how he doesn't actually Get along with Sid outside the, of the whole business transaction. Come, my children, the reckoning is nigh. They're prepping. I'm not supposed to be going this way, but I see people here. You're getting ready. I know you're all afraid, but now is not the time for shilly shallying. We've planned long and hard for this. Are you guys gonna be okay? I hope so. Doesn't look like I'll be participating for now. Hey. Oh, there you are, Sid. Um, thanks so much for coming. The, uh, ruins are just over there, as is the creature I told you about, I'd imagine. Would you, uh... Would you mind? Of course. I'll be right back. Do you normally stutter or are you... <laughs> I almost feel like you're leading me into a trap. The pieces we need are in the ruins just over there. As is a terrifying monster. 
And watch it be like a cockroach or something. I don't see anything yet. Anybody home? Oh. Okay. This must be our unwanted visitor. Time to go. I see. It's okay, we've had practice. Oh, oh, we're not. <gasps> how do I get rid of that? I don't know how to get rid of it aside from like walk away from it. Nice try. Oh god. Too slow. Get out of here. <laughs> I don't even know where you are. Oh no. Damn you. Ow. Don't, no. Don't move. Over here. This one. Three, four. Get him. No! Keeps going away. The very last moment. Okay, we gotta get ready for the doom. Oh! I'm pretty sure we dispelled it before. There was one time where we just straight up got rid of it. I don't know how to do it again, though. But you can just go away. That'll be okay. This one. Go. Get <laughs> the little punch. I'm not even sure if that little punch does that much. Series of little punches. Why were you so hesitant to tell me what it was? Just, you know, it would probably make my job easier if you were a bit more forthcoming. The things I do for you, Mid. Sid! Oh, thank goodness you're safe. <laughs> you shouldn't have any trouble now. Indeed. Well, don't let us keep you. We'll, um, see that everything is transported safely back to the hideaway. All right. I'll let Mid know you're on your way. I guess she might just be supposed to be a representation of a character that stutters, but the... I don't think stutterers usually go um that much. It might be like getting caught on words and stuff. So I thought she was being kind of dodgy, but no, we're fine. Or maybe it's different kinds of stuttering. I have no clue. Okay, Mid, you happy? You better be happy. Like Clive says, the things I do for you. Next time we have side quests come up, now I have to consider, hey, maybe I should just do the main quest because we'll be sent to the same locations anyway, huh? Not every time, though. Only this time. Eh. We're seeing troops oh. amassing at every border crossing. Oh, no surprises there. Welcome to the Patron's Whisper. Hey, how do you feel about Hugo Kuka? Kuka? <sighs> I thought that bastard's death would change things. But when I close my eyes... I can still hear Yara's voice as he whispers for us to run. As he calls out to the soldiers to distract them. His word saved us, and I'll never forget that. It's just like he said, words are immortal. And his live on in me. They changed my life, and I've wanted to thank him ever since. Only I don't know how. I don't know the right words. I wish he were here. To teach them to me. Is everything we've received and everything promised? We can only keep fighting. It's it is really sad that like we <laughs> we lost a lot of people, but surprisingly, a lot of the named people we got to keep. All the shopkeepers. Many claim they wish to change the world. 
few actually take it upon themselves to do so. You are an inspiration to us all. Thank you. Ability points! 800! You this. Thank you. Come again. I may have more for ya. Much appreciated. What can we do with 800 ability points? Probably quite a bit. Whoa! We have 3,000 now. We should be stuffing it into upgrading something, even if we're not gonna, you know, actively get a new skill. Like, Heat Wave. We can upgrade it more. Um, I... Maybe I'll go back to trying Will of the Wikes again? Because I haven't tried it. And it could be good. I mean, yeah, sure. And then this one... Mastery allows assignment to any icon. Not necessary for now, I don't think. We'll just switch out. Yeah, is it possible to... Uh, it's, it's possible to reset individual abilities if I just click on... That? Right. So that would be even better than me trying to reset everything all the time. I'll get a bigger limit break then. Wait, 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 wait. Mastery. Third limit break gauge. Okay, okay, that's good. I want that. We're good enough for now? Hmm. Earth and Fury. Just make it better. Oh, we can't. 2,000 points, not good enough. These upgrades get pretty damn expensive, huh? Heat wave, then, I suppose. Oh, hold on. Heat wave, mastery. Oh, that just allows assignment to any icon. Is that really that great? I guess it allows you to pick your favorite ones and then put it onto slots where you normally wouldn't be able to put it into. Which, at this point, I'm okay with having two abilities of each, so it's not. It's not my biggest concern. I'll let it sit here for a little bit. Will of the Wikes, and Heat Wave. Ignition is nice for grouping everyone up. Will of the Wikes is good for just having the thing around you, and it does stuff on its own. Plus, I think it blocks some damage too. That's nice. But Ignition was nice to gather everyone up, which Will of the Wikes can't do. 